Hello, Mad Cappers. Welcome back to the channel. It's Pom Pom Hat Day. This sheet is available on our website for free download, and I'll put a link in the description. I'm starting with a nice big piece of fleece that stretches in the 23 and a half or 60 centimeter wide direction, and then it's going to be just a bit longer. I'm going to sew that back seam all the way down, and then when I finish doing that, I'm going to top stitch each of those raw edges flat so I have a nice flat seam in my hat. Do a nice neat job. It is a little challenging because it's a long seam. Mine is 24 inches or 62 and a half centimeters long. But now I'm going to fold this piece in two so that I have a double layer hat and I'm going to bring those two raw edges up to the top to meet each other. Wrong sides together. And still working with a tube, I'm going to sew those two together all the way around. Once I've done that, I'm just going to roll that seam down into the hat. So this part where the seam is, is going to become the inside of my hat. And I'm just going to even up the pattern. And now I'm going to do another line of sewing in between that top fold and that seam, but closer to the seam, but on the top side of the seam. And my seam is gonna be just under an inch and a half, but more like an inch away from the top fold or two and a half centimeters. And once I've done that, I'll remove my pins, take a look at my seam and make sure that I'm happy with it. And now the notching part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the extra fabric that's just going to be in the folds of my gathering. So by removing some of that fabric, I make less fabric in the gather and a neater, cleaner top of my hat. And those cut lines that I'm making, I'm going to push them into the inside of the hat once I've gathered it and you won't even notice them. And because it's fleece, we can do that because fleece doesn't fray. So I prefer to use the quarter inch or six millimeter wide elastic, but use whatever you have on hand. And I just showing you that you can finish that uh, first seam that I made with the serge. If you want to make a nice, neat project that you might want to sell with your small business. So once I have my elastic threaded in my bodkin, I'm just going to run it around on the inside of that channel that I've just made through my notches. And it's pretty easy to do with these notches. And I'm just going to pull it tight and I'm going to spread that gathering out evenly as I do that. And I'm going to work from the inside of the hat because I want my knot. I'm going to do a triple knot to tie off the elastic, but I want my knot on the inside of the hat. And I love this hat because all of the, the, the little parts that could be considered to be the messy bits are all at the top of the hat on the inside. So they don't bother your head and no one will ever notice them. This really is a super beginner sewer project because the hat only has two main seams to sew and it's just straight sewing. You don't even have to finish that first, that first joining seam with the serge because again, it's all up at the top of the hat. And I'm just cleaning up that gathering and pushing any of those cut ends on into the inside and just making the hat gathering nice and neat and even all the way around. And I did not pull my elastic completely tight. It's very tight, but there's still room for me to push the little tab that I'm gonna create on my pom-pom through the top. So let's do that now. So I'm cutting a nice disc of, of fur. Mine happens to be about five and a half inches or about 145 millimeters. And you can make your pom-pom as large as you'd like. My fur is quite long, so this is going to be a stunning pom-pom. And I've just sewn a little tab onto the part of the pom-pom where the fur is going in the opposite direction. And that way I'm not interrupting the fur. 
I, at least I'm not interrupting it very much. And I'm just going to do a large basting stitch all the way around with some heavy thread. And I've made a double um, layer of thread just to make my pom-pom as strong as possible. And I use a nice high loft premium density polyester. It's a fill that you can get at any sewing supply store or you can get it online. And I just make a small ball and I tuck it inside the little bowl that I've created by pulling on my thread and gathering it up. And I'm just gonna tie it off. Now I have a few videos on my channel about making a pom-pom. There are some other pom-pom hat videos too that describe how to do this and I'll link them in the description. And now I'm going to use the pin method. So I'm going to push my tab into the top of my hat and I'm going to use a large safety pin once I've done that to fasten the pom-pom onto the hat. Now this is a way that makes the pom-pom removable. So if you wanted to throw this hat into a washing machine, you can easily take this pom-pom off. Pom-pom is a little bit more delicate than the hat because you've hand sewn it. And all you have to do is just puff up a pom-pom to make it fluffy again. I'm gonna show you a second way, the way that I do it for the kid's hat. I sew a loop inside the hat on that seam that we did at first when we joined the hat. So I'm putting, I'm putting a little loop on the inside at the top of the hat. I'm sewing it onto that seam and I'll do the opposite with my tie. Instead of making a loop, I'm going to make two ends. I'll sew it onto the pom-pom and I'm going to make the pom-pom the same way that I just did other than the fact that my little loop is now a tie. And when I gather it up, I'll tie it off nice and tightly in a triple knot. And now I'm going to push the two ends of, that are attached to my pom-pom into the top of the hat. And I'm going to pass it on to that loop. Fluff up the pom-pom, push the ends in. And pull it tightly, put one end through the loop and just tie it off in a loose knot. And again, this is great because if you don't have a large safety pin, this works just as well. We also have a video on our channel about making a fleece pom-pom if you don't want to work with faux fur. But there you have it, a beautiful pom-pom hat. So simple to make, so professional looking. And I like having a cuff, but you can even wear it slouchy without the cuff and it's two layers of warm cozy fleece or four layers of warm cozy fleece, it's wonderful. Questions or comments, you know what to do. Please leave them below and I will answer each and every one of you. So until we meet again, Mad Cappers, this is Tori Capes from Mad Cap Hat signing off with a thank you and a heartfelt goodbye. We'll see you soon.